YouTube, it's Mortimer, and today I have a new tutorial for you guys. If you can't tell, uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys my very first Halloween tutorial for this year so far, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create this adorable, fun makeup look uh, with just uh, makeup items that I have lying around. I didn't find anything new for this tutorial. Uh, it's just super straightforward and artistic, and I love the way that it looks and it's all done. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so this is my skin with just my basic foundation on. I didn't really do anything special. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Shade and Light palette with Kat Von D, and I'm just gonna be taking this bronzer, you could really use any bronzer, and building up a pretty good color on my cheeks, like kind of like blush, and just building it up. And I'm also going to take that in a C shape around uh, my temple and cover a little bit into my forehead uh, and blend it out into the middle of the forehead just to kind of give it a little bit more blending. Uh, but you really want to get that nice bronze coat on. And I'm also gonna put a little bit on the sides of my nose, uh, just to give a little bit more depth and dimension to my face so it's not just, you know, edges. Next I'm gonna take this highlighter and I'm gonna go ahead and pat that gently underneath my eyes and along the tops of my cheekbones. And I'm also going to brush a little bit of that down the bridge of my nose and I'm gonna put it all over my forehead to kind of pull more light to the center of my face. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend that all together with my loose powder, just to kind of give it a little bit more blending, get rid of those harsh edges. Next, I'm gonna take this white eye shade from the Shade and Light Eye Palette by Kat Von D and brush that all over my lid, uh, top and bottom. And then I'm also going to use a little bit of it to build up a inner corner V shape, uh, just to kind of give it more of a deer-like look. Next, I'm just taking my eyebrow pencil and filling in my eyebrows just the way I normally do, nothing special. Just uh, outlining it and then filling it in. Once I have the shape the way I like it, I spoolie the edges. Next, I'm taking my eyeliner and I'm starting higher than usual, kind of more of a cartoonish look and I'm dragging it down to the inner corner of the eye uh, and going over it just to kind of give it more of a thickness to it and bringing that corner down to the outer corner of my eye but not going underneath the eye because we're gonna be making the eye look bigger with a different effect so you don't wanna line the very bottom of your eye with black. And there you can kind of see the general shape I'm gonna go ahead and do the inner corner now. Uh, and once again, it's more exaggerated and cartoony than I would normally do. Um, and I'm not gonna color in very close to the bottom of my eye, just to give that illusion that I am doe-eyed. That expression exists for a reason. Deers have very big eyes. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and create that illusion of that lower lid lower than my natural lid and connect that to my cat eye. I'm also going to create this little wisp off the inside corner, uh, just something pretty and extra. I thought it looked nice. Next I'm taking my white eyeliner from the Kat Von D line and coloring in that fake lower lid that we started. And just a coat of mascara real quick on only the upper lashes. And I'm going to take these diamond lash lower lashes and put those on along the new waterline that we just created with eyeliner. And next I'm going to go ahead and do some upper lashes. And these are just some gigantic eyelashes I got. Deers have lots of really full long eyelashes, so don't skip this step. Next, I'm taking a black eyeliner and starting from the eyebrows, I'm going to draw a line down the bridge of my nose uh, just to give a little bit more dimension, uh, more of a deer-like snout. Make sure you have it nice and even because this is a make it or break it point and just drag it down as straight as you can. Uh, there's no shame in you know going a little section at a time just to make sure that it's even. 
And don't forget to blend it into your eyebrows. I took a spoolie in after this to kind of blend it a little bit more. Next, I'm taking a regular black eyeliner pencil and coloring in the bottom of my nose uh, just to create the nose pad the deer have. It's pretty cute. I like it. Next, I'm taking this white liquid eyeliner that I used earlier and drawing on all of the cute little deer spots, or rather freckles, however you want to look at them. Uh, and uh, the darker you go with the bronzer, the more they'll show up. Next, I'm going to take a black eyeliner and draw a line from the nose to the upper lip just to kind of create that cleft that uh, deers and most mammal animals have. And the last step is I'm going to go ahead and put on some black lipstick. This is the matte liquid lipstick from Kat Von D's line in the shade Witches. And I love this lipstick. It actually dries in place and it will not move. It will not transfer to your lower lip. So I really recommend this lipstick if you're trying to recreate this look. This is the finished look once I added on a few accessories. Uh, for example, this wig I got from uh, Rockstar and Gothic Lolita wigs, uh, which is really nice. I actually really like this wig. Um, these horns I got, uh, they're just on a clear elastic band. I got them from Party, no, Spirit Halloween, and they were only like 10 bucks. They don't really stay in place very well, but they work. Um, and this flower crown was sent to me by a fan. But yeah, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I really love the finished look. I think it's so cute and so pretty, especially with the flower crown added in. I think it really adds a special feminine touch. Uh, but if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you try this makeup look, let me know. I would love to see it. Uh, but please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I have so many more awesome Halloween costume ideas and makeup tutorials coming up that you guys just don't want to miss. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everybody.